In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a drop down list that doesn't allow you to have duplicate selections. So in this instance, we have a warehouse and they're trying to track where the items are moved in the warehouse. I'll just fill out a few things. So I'll say Barb and item number is uh, 445. I'm saying I'm receiving it, so it's coming from the truck. And then we have a drop down here. What it does is you can pick, uh, so it's going to be warehouse, warehouse one, shelf one. And so everything is fine. You click away. So now let's go barb again. Uh, five, five, six. It's going to be the truck. We want it to be in a different location. So I'm going to go in shelf two. And so we click away and it's happy now. So let me put in the third one and I'm going to put it in the shelf one and see what happens. So I'm going to go Barb, 665, and I'm going to go Truck. So now I'm going to select the Warehouse 1 Shelf 1 again. And so I go down here and I go Warehouse 1 Shelf 1. And then when you go underneath it, it says duplicate locations not permitted and it says okay and we've had that come up a million times but it deletes it deletes the location that you have you had here it's not going to let you put it in okay so let me show you how i did this the first thing that i did is um on the um on the worksheet so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the developer tab i'm going to go to visual basic And then on the movement sheet here, so I'm going to double click on that one. And so now in this one, I say private sub worksheet selection, selection change. And that's allowing for me to have my drop down list and what changes and by value target as range. And so if it's not intersect, um, so it's a double negative. If not intersect target range E2 to E10,000 is nothing then call unique values application events true and if okay so let's go look at um, unique values so here's my unique values sub unique unique values worksheet as a worksheet first row last row is long my column is a string and my column is e and i'm setting the worksheet to my active sheet and so i saying with this worksheet last row equals range column and it counts down to the last row my range or range my column one and my column last row remove duplicates in column a header xl yes there's a header um end with and then i have the message box come up duplicates are not permitted i will of course include the code in the description of my video please subscribe